Hi, welcome back to the Procreate Basics series. This is a 24 episode basic series where you learn all about the basics of Procreate. Today is episode 10 and today we'll be learning all about color palettes and the color picker. So in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to pick colors and in the disc, classic harmony and value color palettes, how to generate, import and share your palettes as well. So let's get started but before we do, remember always to like, comment and subscribe. So to start with the color palette tutorial, we are going to launch Procreate and I have a project ready for us right here. So to pick a color, all we have to do is tap and hold on the screen to pick any color that we want. So I have a blue now. So let's say now I want to pick the red. So now I have red here and these are the two colors that I've been using just now. So if I want to switch back and forth within these two colors because I've been using them very very often, all I have to do is tap for a long time at the color palette icon here. You see that the color palette icon is showing red right now. I'm just going to tap and hold and it will switch back to the blue that I was using just now. So this is very handy for you to work quickly. So to launch the color palette, all you have to do is to tap the icon here and you see here we have a couple of options here. We're going to go through them one by one to learn about each of them. So let's start with this. So in this, you can see the history of colors that we have been using. So these are the two colors that I was using just now, remember? This is my current palette that is set as default. You see that it saves another swatch here. So if you want to save it to this swatch, you just tap it and then you pick the color so that this will permanently be there or you can just work with this swatch instead. So let's talk about this wheel here. This might be a little bit intimidating but it's actually very very simple. So in any color coordination, we have three properties to consider. The first is the color itself which we call hue in Procreate. This is a hue and or the color. You can change color using this by dragging the slider around. So let's say I want to pick a pink. So I would drag my slider around here. And then in this disc itself is where we fine tune the color. The second property of colors is saturation. So saturation basically means how gray it is, which is all the way to the left, or how vibrant it is, which is all the way to the right. So if we move here, you'll be gray. If we move here, you'll be very vibrant. And then the third property that we have is value, which is also called brightness. So brightness is basically light to dark. So light to dark. So we can actually control everything within this um, little sphere here and pick a color that we like. So let's say I want a pastel pink, so I will pick somewhere around here. So there we go, I have a pastel pink right now. So this is all there is to the this color wheel. And let's talk about classic. So classic, you see that we have the same history bar here and the same default palette loaded here. But you see that instead of having a circle, we have a square. And we also have three sliders here, which is actually the same thing. Like I said just now, this is hue, this is saturation, and this is brightness. So we can pick the colors here. I'm going to pick the turquoise now and then maybe something stronger and something darker. So just using the sliders, I can pick the color here or I can just drag this around. So the reason why we have a square palette and a round palette is because of the versatility of each function. So with the square palette, it's very easy for us to get the white, the black, the pure color and a strong vibrant shadow right here at the edges. So it just makes the edges a lot more accessible to us in general. As compared to the this where it's hard for us to identify like pure white or pure black or when does it become like grey and when is it most vibrant up here. So if we want to be more precise, we can use the classic square palette. And now we'll talk about harmony. So in the harmony tab, you see that we have the history slider here and also the default palette here as well. But we have this funky little thing that if we pick the sliders, every other sliders move around and we can pick multiple colors at once. So what is this all about? This is actually a color scheme called Tetradic. This is the name of the color scheme. And we can actually control how dark or how bright the color scheme is. And then if we pick a color and we move it around, it will automatically adjust to pick the harmonious color right here. And to change the color scheme, we just have to tap on the title and change to like triadic. This will give us like a three 
color scheme and then we have analogous so this analogous color schemes consists of three colors that are very near to each other so they are very harmonious as well and then after that we have our complementary color schemes which is the split complementary where we have three colors and also the complementary color scheme where we have two colors so what do we do with this tool so let's say i want to create like a color scheme for myself so i'm gonna pick let's say split complementary because i love split complementary and i'm gonna pick somewhere around here and have these two colors to work with not so vibrant i don't like vibrant colors Okay, these colors is nice so now i want to save this color palette i'm gonna tap on this and drop it into my palette here tap on this drop it here to create the swatch and tap on this and drop it here to collect the swatch as well so now i have three ready swatches for me to work in my painting so this is how you can use this to create color schemes of your own and now we'll go into value so when it comes to value it's not so much of like what it means with value where it means dark and light and everything but it means something more geeky where you have all the numbers here for hue saturation brightness red green blue and hexadecimal code so the hue saturation and brightness is exactly the same as this bar so it's the same thing you can adjust here and get an exact value so let's say you already know the values from another app for example photoshop or from the website where you get a code of the colors then you can just input it in here and type it down so now you have a different color same goes for the rgb you can actually have rgb values taken in from photoshop that you can copy paste the values here and then last we'll talk about the hexadecimal code this is actually a color code that is mainly used in websites so let's say if i want pure white i'll type f f f f f f f f f f f how many f's have i said i know that white is six f's and there we go we have white here this is a light gray and this is black so this is for geeks and if you're trying to do designs on procreate then you can use this as a great tool for you to input colors quickly using just values and lastly i'm going to talk about palettes where the magic reside so in the palettes you can see that i have like crazy amount of palettes and procreate comes with a few default color palettes i, th I think like new drink comic and a couple of others but the rest i've actually created it myself so i'm going to show you how i create my color palette so to create your color palette all you have to do is tap on the plus icon and then there are four options that come up so we're just going to try the first one and create a new palette so here is a new palette where you can rename it so let's just call it whatever and then now i'm going to pick some colors from my portrait to drop it in So let's say I'm constantly working with my palette open and I want to continuously work on this palette I just have to make sure that I tap on set default So if I tap on set default and I drag this window down I can have a view of the exact same palette that I have just now And you can also access all the other tabs right here So now I can just comfortably pick colors and drop colors in And notice that when I'm picking color, you see this wheel that comes up the bottom color is actually the previous color and this is the new color that you're picking so if you're trying to match a color or match a value this is can be very um, convenient for you so let's say i'm trying to match the value of the blue okay so this looks like it so you see that the value is matching so it's a good way for you to preview like your swatch before you commit to it and just to show you that like you're picking a new color something like that so you see right here i've just created like a new color palette just quickly like just like that now if you swipe left you can see you can share it or delete it so when you see the word share you know that you can also import it in that you can also import color palettes in so if i share you just export and you can just save it to the files or send it to dropbox or copy it email it to someone so that's a way to share it 
and also you can import color palettes so for example i have a lot of color palettes ready here like grayscale mid-tone shadows or for portrait painting and i've uploaded them all to my website that you can download for free so to download them you will actually download them from my website and then save it to your icloud or your dropbox and then once it's downloaded you can launch dropbox and drag it to the side of the bar here okay you see that i have this color palette called easy skin tone swatches so a dot swatches file is actually a color palette file for procreate so to import it is really really easy i'm just going to tap on this and drag it to my project right here you have to do this within an open project in order for this to work so i'm just going to drop this it says importing and where do i find my new palette i just scroll all the way down and there it is at the bottom here easy skin tone palette all ready for me to use and if i want to delete it i can just slide to the left and tap on delete so this is a way for you to import color palette and if you tap on plus again you can see that there are three more options here new from camera new from file and new from photos so essentially it's a picture file right whether you take it from a camera or whether you download from a file or whether you get it from a photo it's still an image so to demonstrate i'm just gonna show you how it looks like if i create one of them from photos i'm just gonna pick this top view of food here and you can see once i've tapped it it's created this color palette that is generated from that image itself and i can actually rename this food top view and I can actually use this color palette to paint for my new painting and this is really really helpful and quick if you just want to duplicate a color scheme that you've seen online or merge it with another color scheme that you found on the internet okay guys thank you so much for watching but stay tuned because tomorrow we will be covering the basics of how to color in procreate it's a very important tutorial so make sure you catch tomorrow's episode so remember to like comment and subscribe see you tomorrow bye